everybody calls me Banky, that's the name that I got from my grandmother when I was young. I'm coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Shout out to everybody out there on Team Banky Pam, man. I was told by Hollywood Trail, man, I need to start doing a little, little vlogging, man. So I'm going to try to do this little vlogging thing and holler at y'all and see what's going on today. I got to do a lot of ripping and running today. I'm supposed to be uh, going out of town tomorrow, going to D.C., my hometown, and um, see what's going on up there, man. We're having a little memorial for my cousin who unfortunately passed away last year. So we're going up there to... Uh, Check on him, man, and um, try to get straight. So, I'm gonna be ripping and running today. Got a lot of things to do, man. Gotta go get a haircut, gotta go pick up a few things. So, I keep y'all posted, man, and see what's going on out there. TBB stand up, salute, baby. All right, all right, we still moving. We on the move, man. Get ready to go up here and see if I can get my hair cut, see if I can get fresh for y'all. You know, got things to do. See if my barber up in here. Don't look like he is, but I'm gonna go up here anyway and see what I can get done. Might have to go with a substitute. Go up in here and get yeah. this thing done. There you go, right there. I was just getting ready to call you, man. I was just getting ready to call you. I'm vlogging now, man. It's my first time vlogging, man. So yeah, this is my barber right here, Big Boomer. Yeah, I'm gonna go in here and get fresh. See what the shirt say? Yeah. Stop snitching. There's ah. no need to do that. <laughs> yeah, there's no need. There's no need. And you ain't gonna survive in prison like that, I can tell you that sure now. Sure ain't. Yeah, we can really walk on up in here. Trimmers and shears. Uh, his ninth worst first inning in Taylor. Coming up in here. Introduce the world to the boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, we got, we got, a, we got a top notch barber right here. Yeah, and a boxing fan. I am a boxing fan, man. He doesn't have enough, he doesn't have enough uh, Yeah. We got my man over here getting him shot. This dude right here say he watch me. Ain't that what you say? Yeah, man. I don't watch all your videos on there. Hey, ain't that some TVP we out Bangy here? Bangy Pound. Bangy Pound, he say. We got my man in the back right there doing this thing. Yeah, trimmers and shears. If y'all want it done, that's where you got to come. Oh, that's going to be the best fight of the decade right there. Yeah, yeah, but all my money is going on. Right there. Bud, Crawford, Bud, Crawford, all day. I'm taking, I'm taking all the best. I definitely will, I definitely will. I tell you like I used to tell him in the penitentiary, biggest bet too small. I want it all. Hey, I think, I think, I think Miami messed up last night, though, bro. They shouldn't have played Jimmy Butler at all. That's why they should have sat them down. You see what I'm saying? Give them a four day get them yeah, give them give them a four day rest, come back fresh at home. Yeah, they get a two day break somewhere in there. It ain't this one. This is the first. It is not one. It's every every other day. You look on the thing. I checked that shit myself. I thought I was gonna see. There's no break, bro. It's every other day. That's why you've seen the game. You're right. Already, you're right. Cause it's like it's that on the TV guy, the TV yeah. calendar. It's East. I don't know why they did it. You know what I mean? Not for the finals. East trying to find some restaurants. But it was crazy because they gave Brooklyn a, a, a three-day break in the first year. You could. You, that's what you should be doing every other day. Not, not like this now. Right? Not like right now. It's crazy. Talking Bob Shop. Talk. We'll be back with y'all in a minute. I'll be fresh then. All right, TVP. I told you I was coming to get fresh then. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, that's what we did it right there. Boom. We on the move, man. I got a young TVB fan who met me in here. He want to chop it up with me. 
We gonna go do that. My word. Boom. That's, That's my word. word. Yeah, we gonna go do that, y'all. Y'all stay tuned. We on the move. TVP, we out here. And y'all know I just wanna get fresh. I came out the barber shop, trimmers and shears. While I was in the barbershop, I met a young dude, say he's 24 years old, say he's TBP fan, man. He watched all my videos. I finished getting my hair cut. He wanted to chop it up with me, ask me a couple of questions. I'm getting ready to talk to him right now. He can ask me anything he want to. This is what we're supposed to do. Each one, teach one. Reach out to the young fellas. Give them good game, good knowledge, man. Try to put them on the right path. That's what we want to do out here at TBP, man. Positive energy, man. Feed the positive, starve the negative. Take some time out, chop it up with the young fellas, man. So we're going to see what's going on with my man. I'm sitting in this car, too. Nice old car right here. Look, there with my, my man so, right man, there. How y'all doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. TBP fam, how y'all doing? That's what's up, man. Hold on, let me give you the spotlight. Yeah, man. Tell the people who you are, man. All right, so my name Dewan, but really everybody, I go by Rob. I'm in the Navy. Um... So everybody just call me Rob, 24, from uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, joined the Navy to get away from, you know, bad environment, not, you know, make bad mistakes. And um, on YouTube, man, I like watching, like, prison documentaries and, you know, just stuff. Cause everybody in my family, man, every, when I say everybody, I mean everybody, done been through the system. And uh, I, grew, I was fortunate enough to grow up with my pops. He kept me out of it, you know, put, the, put his foot down, kept me out the out that life and uh but i still it's, it's it's just interesting you know to hear people's stories and that's how you know i ran across you and uh man i watched all your videos man very inspirational videos very inspirational and uh serendipity a moment of serendipity man <laughs> ran into you at the barbershop man it's crazy oh so that so you not even you not even from virginia no nah, i'm not i'm from indianapolis so you just out here because you're in the navy mm -hmm. oh so you stationed out here mm -hmm. oh man that's crazy that's crazy yeah. Yeah, I walked in the barber shop. He was sitting in the chair. He looked. He said, "Man, you banging from YouTube?" I'm like, "Yeah, that's me." And it's crazy. He said he didn't even know I was out in this area. Yeah, but I, when I paroled, I came out here to this area. I paroled to my sister. She stay out here. But I'm originally from DC, but I'm new to the area myself. But the dude that actually was cutting my hair, that is the dude that I was actually locked up with. So I know him. That's why I come get my hair cut by him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But um. Yeah, man, your story, what you just said alone, man, being 24 and, you know, you in the Navy, man, you doing positive things, man, and you, you know, you ducked that allure of the streets. You say you from Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. It's rough out there. I mean, you it know. It is. It is. It's a small city, but it's a lot of people in a small city, and it's a very um, poor environment, so you can, you, you know how it is, man. You got a bunch of people in a poor environment, and everybody chasing a dollar, everybody trying to make it, you know, feed their family, and a lot of times, you know. You resort to um, things that you ain't supposed to. And I ain't going to lie, even with my father in my life, um, at a 16, 17, 18, I started to see myself headed down that path just because I was trying to fit in and, you know, the people that I was with. But it was something always inside of me that was like, you know, this ain't what you're supposed to be doing. This right. this ain't you. You know what I'm saying? And so I was just like, how how can I get away from this? You know, what can I do in the military? I, was just, I ain't had no money to just up and move. But I was like, the military... They're going to do it all for me, move you, pay you, get you away from there. And so I joined, you know, the Navy and never looked back. See what I'm saying? See, it's that little voice that you say you heard. That's always the voice you always heard. Everybody heard. Everybody got one, man. That's your conscience. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because when you're doing something that you ain't got no business doing, man, it's always going to be this nagging, like, anxiety on the inside of you. It's letting you know, like, Man, this ain't right. This ain't right. Mm -hmm. And then just like what we was just talking about, what I was telling you, man, it, it don't pay off. It don't pay off at all. You know, it's like right now you talking about you was thinking about that at 17, 18. Look at you now, 24 years old. You got a nice car. You got a nice career. You know what I'm saying? You're doing what you want to do. It's dudes your age right now, my dude, that, that didn't make the decision that you made. And they sitting in prison right now, sitting on 30, 40, 100 years, bro. They didn't never see the streets again. That's been in there f from 16, 17, 18 years old, man, because they ain't had that, you know, that willpower to make the right choice. You see what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It's a dude I be talking about on my uh, YouTube now, Bo Billy. If you watch my show, you you know, remember Bo Billy. Bo Billy been in there since he was 18, man. Yep, I, I watched I watched his uh, documentary, yeah, too. Yeah, he's, 60, he's 67, my dude, because, like I say, a bad choice. So, you know, and then I always tell people, once you go into prison, bro, you could go in there with a two-year sentence, a five-year sentence, a ten-year sentence. It ain't guaranteed you're going to get out. 
because of what's going on there in the daily life, the daily activities is going on in there, the daily violence, the chaos, the, the larceny. So it ain't never guaranteed. So when you put that on the scale against out here trying to get some money because dudes want to look fly, dudes want to get the girls, dudes want to be relevant, dudes want to be, you know, in the clique and all of that, man, that don't pay off, man. Because it's all done illegally, it's all done with larceny, and then it's gonna come back on you. It's the energy that we put out in the earth that's gonna come back to us. It's gonna catch up with yeah, you. Yeah, you put positive energy out there, it's gonna come back. You know what I'm saying? And I know for a fact, like I say, your dad, he probably super proud of you because he probably didn't sit there and watch other kids and other people kids take the other path. You see what I'm saying? It's crazy that you say that because I actually had uh, one of my closest homeboys. All my homeboys was older than me i was always the youngest and so that's why i felt like i was starting to fall into that path but uh one of my homeboys at the time he was 20 got locked up did like year and a half got out i promise you not within seven days of him being released caught a murder case he got mm. 68 years and that right there was one of like the biggest wake-up calls to me because i was hanging with this dude every day you know right. what i'm saying and i'm like this could have been me you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, 68 years and back at home, the crime rate is so high. They used to have it where you do, you get like 50, you do 25, you do half of your time. Now the crime rate is so bad, they changed the law where you do 85% of your time. Yeah, that's so, what they did in Virginia. So I'm, and then. So you talking 68 years, you do the math to that and imagine when you're going to see him again, if you're going to see him again. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And that's just one mistake. And it, it don't take, and look, this is the crazy part about it. Somebody pointed this out to me before. You know, he got 68 years. You say he got a murder charge, right? Mm -hmm. It probably took him less than two seconds to pull that trigger. And he trading off two seconds for 68 years. Now, where that makes sense at? Where that, he trading off two seconds, a bad decision, for 68 years of your life. Oh, because he was trying to rob a, a woman. First of all, he killed a woman. Trying to rob her for, I think it was 300, 300 to $500. So like you said, them two seconds for that three or $500 for 68 years. 68 years. It don't add up on nobody's scale, nah. man. It's just That's why you see in my videos, I always say, be smart, be safe, make good decisions. If you use those three things right there, man, it will determine how your life turn out. Straight like that. When you say you, you know, felt a certain type of way where you know that's that's being smart. You know what I'm saying? Making good decisions was following up on that. You know what I'm saying? And being safe was staying away from that for the rest of the time that you, you know what I'm saying, was out here. The rest of the time of your life, you stay away from that foolishness. When you get that little urge in your in your gut, man, that's when you, you know, you listen to that. You being smart. You know what I'm saying? And you get away from those type of things and those type of people. And it don't matter who it could be, though. It could be your family. It could be your homeboy. It could be somebody you grew up with and all of that. But sometimes you got to let people go, man, because you going the other way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 68 years, my dude. And I guarantee you before it's all over with, y'all was so cool. You're going to have calls from him. You're going to hear him telling you how sad it is, how depressed he is, what's going on in there, how he wish he never did it. Man, I should have been smart. You're going to hear all of that. We friends on Facebook. We be talking on, on Facebook. That's crazy. You see what I'm saying? And But it's exactly how you say, though. You could tell, like, he, he, he tried to uphold the uh, image, you know, of he doing all right. But you could just tell, you know, yeah. anybody that's sitting on that amount of time, you... You, you're going to have some type of depression, some type of, you know. Yeah, so and it's I, a day-to-day -day lifestyle. It's like to to wake up every day, man, knowing your conditions, mm -hmm. to wake up every day knowing where you at, to wake up every day missing your family, missing the people that you love, missing just the freedom, man, to do what you're doing there, to sit out here and chop it up with somebody, to get in a car and drive, go where you want to go, to go get a haircut. You know what I'm saying? All that is gone. All that is gone. And people don't realize that, man, these young dudes, because they get caught up in listening to TV and, and listening to uh, dudes talk war stories about, man, this, that, and, oh, I'm getting money out here. I'm the man. And the yeah. music. Yeah, and the music. The, the music. music. But, the, but look, but that's what I'm saying. The music in itself is just talk. But people don't even realize it. It's just talk. It's for entertainment so it's they can make sales. It's dog. They ain't doing that stuff. I, absolutely not. I tell people all the time, I say, for acting, you get paid. For doing it in real life, you get prison. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's not what they doing. That's definitely not what they doing. You know, they acting like they doing it, and they talking slick, and that's causing them to get money. 
And it ain't nothing wrong with that. But you got to be able to differentiate between that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? If those dudes was actually doing that, you know where they'd be. Look at Young Thug right now. Yeah. Look at Gunner. You yeah. see what I'm saying? So it's a difference between talk and reality. It's a difference between entertainment and real life. You know what I'm saying? You can like that something because it sounds good or it sounds slick, but in actuality, man, you can't live like that and be successful. You ain't gonna know no real, even the ones who say they, they was drug dealers or whatever, they was doing this and doing that and they got rich off of it and now they like Jay-Z and all that. Man, they got a thing called the Rico Law. If all of that stuff was true, man, they would go back and they would find evidence of that and they would, they would jail you mm -hmm. just because of the fact that you promoting it, just because of the fact that you bragging on it. So a lot of it be fictitious anyway. Not to say Jay-Z is fictitious, but a lot of it be fictitious because if they was doing it on any site, we're not talking about like selling a couple of whatever's on the corner. We're talking about the way they explain it. it. Yeah, it's, it's, that's not true, Like man. that's all their life consists right. of. Right, yeah, that's not true. Like they not at home having family dinners, you know, with their family <laughs> and stuff at night. Absolutely, like, you yeah, know, know what I'm what saying? Mean, and so, you know, you got to be able to separate that stuff, man. But I, I look at it like this. I feel like anybody can be successful at whatever they want to do the legitimate way because if you put just as much effort into trying to do that in the right way you'll be all right mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying you you'll be all right you 24 years old right now man you got the rest of your life ahead of you man you know telling what lies ahead of you but you know for a fact you ain't got to worry about somebody knocking on your door or somebody out in the street trying to shoot you trying to kill you or police come telling you uh oh yeah well we we got evidence you did this that because you ain't living like that so that takes a lot of stress off of you, man. All you got to do is look forward to locking in what you want to do and then just pursuing it. And then you can do the same thing that somebody else do, but you got to find a way to put your spin on it, the way to put your finesse on it, and then take it to another level. And that's where success come from. Success come from doing what somebody else did, but you doing it better and doing it with your own twist on it. And it's legal. Mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying and once you like I say you got to take the stairway. away you cannot take the elevator to success once you do it the right way no matter how hard you no matter how hard the fight is once you get the way you want to go can't nobody take that away from you bro that's yours forever and that's a part of your legacy and then you pass it on to your to your siblings to your kids you see what I'm saying but anything who passing on drug dealers to their kids come on man who passing on gang and, and street life and all that that's just a that's a that's a dead end road bro and if they are it's the wrong thing to it's be doing you know what I'm saying it's definitely the wrong thing to be doing it's just the blind leading the blind it's the blind leading the blind man and that's why we never get nowhere you know what I'm saying and and we, we got to be able to teach these young dudes man like I say that's why I say I do what I do because I wish somebody would have talked to me the way I'm talking to you, the way I speak on my YouTube, because I needed it. I needed it. See what I'm saying? I was hard here, man. I listened to the streets. Whatever they was doing, if it looked fly, if they looked like they got money, then I want money. They look like they dress fly, I want to dress fly. You know what I'm saying? They look like they driving this, I want to drive that. But that, that, that ain't the right way to go. That ain't the right way to go, because I see what it got me. You know what I'm saying? And it won't a day... In them 12,345 plus days, man, that I don't regret my decisions. I don't wish I would have made better decisions in not one day. Because once you setting up in there, man, you can set up in there one day and and, 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 and all of it going to hit you in one day, 24 hours. All your bad decisions. Regretting everything you did. I don't care how much money you had, how much fun you had. It ain't even going to add up to that one day of incarceration. And then knowing when you wake up, this is what your life gonna be like for God knows how long. You see Young Thug in there crying right now. I just seen the Joan on there that he sent the people up in there with the camera say he living in inhumane conditions. He he trying to get an emergency bond to get out because he can't live like that. Why? Because he's sleeping on a paper thin mattress made of plastic, steel concrete up under there, toilet commode right beside you when he was just sleeping in silk sheets and, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, driving, uh, riding around in private jets and going wherever he want to go, being seen by millions of people on videos. But you want to be a gangster too. See what I'm saying? You can't do both. You can't straddle the fence, man. You got to pick a side, man. And you always going to be right when you pick the right side. Because it eliminates words. Is everybody is life gonna be just uh, cookies and creams? Nah, you still gonna have problems. You still gonna run into situations, but you can deal with those situations a whole lot better out here than you can in there. Man, when you in there, man, people dying, man. Uh, family members is going through stuff, and you only can hear about it. 
You can't help them. You can't do nothing for nobody. Can't even go to funerals, my bro. You'll sit there and watch this. I sit there and watch people die, die, and I just heard. Man, I got to the point, man, I ain't even want nobody to send me no obituary. I didn't even want to look at it. I ain't even want to look at it, bro. And holidays, and you call home, and people laughing and having fun and eating, and you sitting up in here, man, and they throwing some bologna on your tray and some hard bread, and you got 15 uh, dudes around you arguing about this, that, and the third. Dudes fighting over the phone. and Who want to live like that, man, when you got a choice? Yeah. You got a choice out here. You know what I'm saying, man? So, man, I, I mean, I hope. What's your pop's name, man? Terry. Terry, man, you did a great job, man. You did, I'm going to send him the link yeah, to this, most, too, when you, when you get it posted. Def, did a great I'm job, man. You did a great job, man, because that's what we need, man. We need fathers. We need uncles. We need uh, big homies. We need people, man, to start teaching these young dudes the right thing to do and, and the right path to take, man, because... Man, it's it's a whole generation coming up, man. That's caught up in that music. That's caught up in that gang. That's caught up in that lifestyle. And all of them, all of them crying in the penitentiary. All of them, my bro. I get calls every week, all day, every day from dudes in prison. I know not one dude that don't want to be out here. Everybody in there trying to get out. Everybody in here trying to get out. And you got dudes out here. I look at the news. They robbing people, man. They carjacking. They selling drugs. They shooting people for foolishness. And they have no idea what they putting themselves into. No idea. And I know that once you get a certain age, like you say, 15, 13, 20, even 20, everybody know right from wrong. Mm -hmm. But what they missing is the consequences. They don't know you could pull a pistol and shoot somebody and, and they die and you go to prison for 20, 30 years. They think, oh, I could get out of it or I, I'd be all right or I might have to go that way for a year or two. And, and they, that's what they think. A lot of them think I ain't going to get caught. I ain't going to get caught is the number one thought. Mm -hmm. But the second thought, if I do, I'm young, they ain't going to hit me over the head. Man, they're giving 17 and 18 years old life. Life, 200 years, 300 years. You already dead. You know, man gonna live 300 years. They gave me two life sentences. I ain't got but one life to live. How is that even mathematically possible? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's it, crazy. Man. It's crazy. It's not even mathematically possible. You know? So that's why I say, man, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be out here, man. I'm proud to be out here, man, trying to do something positive, man. I feel blessed to be out here because I know it wasn't a given. I ain't had to make it out here. You know, every day I was in there, it was a, it was a risk of me never coming out because anything can happen in any given day, man. So, you know, I, I feel good to be out here, man. I feel blessed, man. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep on pushing this YouTube, man, until I reach a million people, 10 million people, then 100 million people. Because like I say, if you just change one life, you know what I'm saying, it's good enough for me because of, you know, I know the consequences. You know what I'm saying? So when you told me in there, man, that you watched my joint and it had effect on you and, it, and, and you know what I'm saying, it, it makes you, you know, think about your decisions. Hey, bro, you don't even know how proud that make me feel. You know what I'm saying? And you all the way from Indianapolis, you know, so that tell you TBP, man, we out here everywhere. Sure. You know, and uh, yeah, man, you keep on doing your thing. I'm gonna give you my phone number, my dudes. You can keep in touch with me. Reach out to me whenever you want to, man. Even if you just want to chop it up. If I can't get to you at that time, I see your number. I hit you back ASAP. Soon as I got free time, my bro, I want to keep up with you, man. I want to watch your success, watch you grow, man. Tell your pops, man, he did a great job, my dude. And whenever you get a chance to talk to some dudes younger than you. You drop that good game on them, man. Let them know how, what, what decisions you made. Let them see the results. Let them see the results. You know what I'm saying? Look like you're doing swear. Look, hey, we in here. Yeah, you know, you let them see the results, man. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, 24 years old, my brother. You're doing great things, man. You're doing great things, my dude. You know, this is what a TBB fan look like right here. Success. Young brother out here doing his thing on a positive path. And that's what we promote. That's what we about, man. So... TBP, man, y'all salute this brother, man. Y'all better get this video right here a gazillion million likes. You understand I'm going to be the first one. Yeah, that's what's <laughs> up, man. We out here, man. TBP, sure, we man. out here. We making a difference. That's what it is. Y'all be safe out there. Be smart, man. Make good decisions. We making change out here. Salute. All right, y'all. We done got a head and everything. Yeah, I'm getting ready to take y'all someplace where y'all hope y'all never have to go up in this probation office, try to get my pass, my traveling pass.
so I can be 100% uh, legit and go up in here and get this traveling pass. You see that? I'm at the probation office. I got to go in here and get this traveling pass just to go somewhere. So that's another message to you young fellas. Even when you're free, when they open the gates, you still ain't free. Still on paper, baby. Y'all pray for me. Sitting in here now waiting. Waiting on my PO, trying to get this paperwork. Going to this family event. See all these people on the wall. That's the big ass. That's the big ass. That's the who's who. That's the who's who in the DOC. Big boys. I don't want to see them no more. Y'all. Nah, I'm just trying to live. Just trying to live. I'm out here though. Can't be mad. All right, y'all, got my paperwork. Got my paperwork, man. So now, it's just gonna be uh, get ready, get prepared, come chop it up with y'all on the live, you know. Head on up to the city tomorrow, man. Yeah. How y'all like walking with me today, man? Y'all been rolling with me today. Y'all been rocking with me today. I done went many places, did many things. Y'all been right here with me. I told y'all one time before, wherever I go, y'all go. I'm taking you with me. All right, family, we're going to wrap it up for the day. Uh, y'all let me know if y'all rocking with this little vlog, man. I just took y'all on these runs with me today. Here and there, here and there. And um, tomorrow, I'll be heading out to D.C., man, and, uh, might give y'all a little something up there. Might catch up with Troop, man. I need to catch up with Troop. See what's going on with Troop while I'm up there as well. Be up there for a couple of days. So in the meantime, in between time, man, y'all be safe, be smart, man. Make good decisions and tell a friend to tell a friend. We out here. We trying to get it. Peace. Coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts.